everyone welcome to Terra special in this video tutorial i'll be showing you how to perform topographic wetnex index in arcgis so basically topographic wetnex index quantifies terrain driven variation in soil moisture so it required uh, dem data or dtm data so if you don't know how to download it i have made a video on it so i'll be just putting it in the description as well as i will be giving it in the cards just check it out so we just move on to the ArcGIS here we are going to uh, add our DEM data so this is the SRTM DEM data which I have downloaded from Earth Explorer website USGS so once we have added the uh, DEM data we need to just uh, project the data so right click on this empty screen and go to the option data frame properties so here in the coordinate system we are going to choose a coordinate so so choose the projected coordinate system so I am going to go with the UTM and WGS1984 Northern Hemisphere so this is the projected coordinate system for the study area which I undertook now we need to just apply it and click OK so now we have projected it and we need to successfully export it so right click on the layer and go to the option data and export data here we need to change the spatial reference choose the data frame so we have uh, chosen uh, we have just set it to the, pro to the projected coordinate so choose data frame and after that you can just rename this dim you can choose the desired location by clicking on this option you can just rename this uh, dim and hit the button save So you can see here, it is asking me to whether uh, the exported data to add it to the map layer. I am going to give yes. So we have added the projected dem. So I am going to remove the previous dem. So first step will be, we need to fill this data. So go to the option spatial analysis tool. And here, come down to the option hydrology and select the option fill. So fill uh, removes the uh, It removes the uh, sudden spike in the data if there is a sudden spike or a misinformation which is present in the DEM data so that can be uh, removed using the uh, fill tool so now I have added the projected uh, DEM and you can see the output raster I'm going to rename it to fill yeah. I rename it to fill and let's click OK So our fill has been successfully completed. So you can see here. So you can see here I have completed the fill dem. Then next is flow direction, flow accumulation, slope in degrees. So go back to the arc toolbox and we are going to use the flow direction. And here our uh, input surface raster will be filled because uh, we have uh, we uh, just removed the some uh, data spikes in the digital elevation model if there is a data spike uh, it will be useful for uh, it will be uh, if you use the fill tool it will be useful so here our uh, input raster will be filled and and hit the button ok now So flow direction is completed. So the next step will be flow accumulation. Once again, go go back to the arc toolbox, and here click the option flow accumulation. So our, uh, we have to input our flow direction raster here. Flow direction. hit the button ok so this uh, may take some time based on our uh, uh, system capacity so our flow accumulation has been successfully done so next step will be slope uh, in degree and uh, radiance of slope so going back to ArcGIS so arc toolbox here go to the option surface 
and go to the option slope so double click and open the tool here now we, go, we are going to input our raster layer so fill data will be our slope and uh, the output measurement will be in degrees so click ok in order to process it so we have successfully generated a slope map so we have generated the slope map so next is we are going to do radians of slope so the formula is slope in degrees into 1.57 divided by 90 so here I have shown you how we have got this 1.57047.96 so I will be attaching this uh, uh, word document or pdf uh, you can just uh, download it I will be just giving the link so that will be useful for you so let us go back to the RG. So now go to the option Arc Toolbox. So here navigate to the Map Algebra and you can find the option Raster Calculator. Double click and open this tool. So open the bracket. We are going to put the slope raster and we are going to multiply it. So you can see here we are going to multiply this with this value and divide it by 90. So let me cap copy this value. And let me place the value here and close the bracket divided by 90 and uh, let me rename this slope radiance So we have co successfully completed the slope radians. So like a uh, degree slope radians is also the measurement of slope. So that is what we have done. Previously we have converted from the degree to radians. For that we require this formula as you can see here. You can check it, just check it out and if you have any doubts in this you can just ask me in the comments. So the next is tan slope and you can see this is the formula for calculating the tan slope so here you can see there is a value called as 0 0.001 so we can't put 0 so I am just giving a value of approximately 0 0.001 here so you can see this is the formula for it so let us do in the ArcGIS once again go to the Arc Toolbox here once again select the raster calculator so here we are going to use the con function and in that we are going to use the radian slope value double click there radian slope we have input to the radian slope and and after that we are going to input tan value tan so in the bracket we should input the slope radians comma 0 0.001 so just rename it tan slope and click ok so just we need just uh, we have to just give some other name for it yeah let me run it so our tan slope has been successfully done and let's go back to the next step so the next is our flow accumulation scale so for that we need to use the flow accumulation plus one into cell size once again go back to the arc, uh, uh, raster calculator so open the bracket we need to include the flow accumulation plus one we need to just close the bracket and we are going to multiply it with the cell size so select the fill data go to the option properties here navigate to the option source and you can see the cell size just copy the cell size and close it and finally we are going to paste the cell size over here and we are going to rename it flow 
to accumulation scale and hit the button ok so we have got the flow accumulation scale so now we are on the final step uh, topographic wetness index so once again open the arc toolbox and select the raster calculator and you can see we, we must use the log function flow accumulation scale divided by tan slope so this is the formula so here we are going to select the log and input the flow accumulation scale divided by tan slope and just rename it to TWI so I just rename it to TWI and click the option OK so I think we have got the results so let me turn off the other layers and you can see this is the output layer so let me uh, we need to just change the symbology right click and go to the option properties here go to the option symbology and here you can choose any of this uh, scheme so I am choosing this scheme and just apply it and click ok so you can see here where the dark blues you can find the dark blue patches that indicates higher uh, wetness index and you can see the lighter color so that is representing a uh, lesser comparatively uh, very lesser uh, wetness index based on the uh, terrain data or elevation so let me clip this so I'm going to add my study area over here so this is my study area So in order to clip it perfectly, uh, both the uh, raster as well as the shear file should be in the same uh, coordinate system. So now go to the option arc toolbox and just move up data management tools. Here go to the option raster data management tools and go to the option raster. And here you can find the option raster processing. Just click here and you can you can see the option clip over here select clip and our input raster will be our uh, topographic wetness index and the output will be the basin shape file now click over here use the input features maintain clipping extent and finally click the option ok so you can see the clip has been successfully completed so let me remove this file properties once again we are going to change the symbology for it so here this time I am going to use a different color scheme for it you can see the results once again go to the option properties and you can just go back to the option display here I am going to choose the bilinear interpolation so for uh, more visualizing the data in continuous format so here once again we can just change it back to the original color like this so thanks for watching there are special if you do have any uh, doubts you can just ask me in the comment section so uh, we have introduced uh, we have introduced membership uh, you can if you are interested you can just join us and you can just support us so thanks for watching goodbye everyone